So next I will use English as since I see there are some international students join my room just now. Okay, so I'm going to share with you okay how I use the Canva to do a simple design for my Facebook for my Instagram account. I know some of you are very good in this, okay, but I am just sharing what I know from using Canva. Okay, Canva and Wix. Okay, moves because because nanti uh, later you have to prepare like at least some uh, promotional uh, thing using the Canva and then you promote it in your website. Okay, so we expect all of you, so more kumpulana, all the groups must have a website and, and then you create either create social media account, mungkin dalam maybe in Instagram. Dalam Instagram atau Facebook, okay, ataupun mana mana account, okay, mesti ada sekurang kurangnya at least one social media account, and we want you to create at least one website, okay. So just to share some of the tips, I know, okay, that I, I also learning at the moment. I'm also learning because this is um something quite new. So if you know, you can also share with us. Huh? So I just share with you the the use of uh, this. Uh, this is one of the website that you can use. Okay, one of the website that you can use for design. This is called Canva. Okay. So the first thing, of course, you have to create your account first. You can see on the right hand side. On the right hand side, I have the I have already log in my account okay so if you want the link of this website i put the link in the chat chat room huh? hey, nanti. Yeah, uh, cannot share uh? let me share again uh, sometimes sharing a bit problem here and okay, let me reshare okay this is the canva let me see you can share okay the link of the canva Okay, I already post in the chat room. You can try it yourself. Okay, but I try. You can also I explain it slowly. So if you want to try, you can try. Okay. So the first thing, of course, you have to register using your your email, or you can register use using your other account. You can see that on the right hand side. I already register. I already logged in. Okay. So for this one, uh, can one is free okay the good thing is it's free if you are using the basic uh, the basic things okay it's free but if you want to get the promotional one you have to pay okay like uh let me see uh, how much uh, you can see my account setting here like okay, it's free i'm using a free account okay let's say i'm using google account okay so this is free um okay if i want to change for professional then i have to pay okay can't remember how much but i have to pay here if i want to change to professional otherwise just continue with the free account will do uh, go back to home i click home okay okay uh, you can see this uh? all right so uh, when you want to prepare, uh, you start to have your social media to do promotion for your business. So you need to design some of the thing for your social media. Let's say you are pro, uh, creating social media uh, Instagram account. Huh? Let's say if your your target are uh, students, pelajar. Kalau pelajar lebih sesuai anda guna Instagram, because if you use uh, most young adults they are using Instagram now. So using social media, uh, Instagram is uh, create something in, in for Instagram is very easy. Okay, using this website. So what I can do is normally I will create like uh, then he will ask you what do you want to design a uh, presentation or social media or video or prints. Okay, but uh, actually there are more than that. When you click more. There are more over here. Okay, when if you click more, you can see just now I click more, then there are more things coming in. Okay, it can be also PowerPoint presentation slide. Okay, some already very good. So at uh, using this, so they are using this to do PowerPoint uh, design rather than using the 
normal PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint. They're using this uh, to do that. Then you can see. So my target is just to explain a little bit to you how to use this to design for social media. You can see actually the second thing here. This is the design. Okay, I prepare. I prepare myself. Okay, just for sample for you to see. Yeah. Let's say uh, if I'm using Facebook, Facebook, you normally you have one, they call it like the cover, Facebook cover. Cannot show, huh? maybe suddenly hang. Okay. Let me go back. Okay, oh, yeah. This is the cover that I designed, but suddenly it hang. This is the one, the cover. Okay, then this one. If you remember, there are some design that I design here, like for example, this is the media, let's say, uh, I design, okay, I do it myself using the, the all the things in the camera. All right, so let's go back and let's try, okay, you can, you, uh, you can find it, this is quite interesting to use. And if you are very good in using like photo, um, Photoshop, you will find this is also very user friendly. So let's say I want to do one design for social media. Okay, for my, let's say I want to design one post for Instagram, let's say. So I click here. Okay, you have something that is empty. Okay, this is uh if i want to resize it then i can change here okay you can design for many things you can design for browser catalog uh, banner facebook cover the small uh, icon icon for your company okay also can you can design that the icon for your company so uh, of course if you have tried this before then you can see this the, the left hand side here, like the organic VAG. Uh, this one is what I designed. I tried and I designed using this Canva. So after you design it, Canva will help you to keep a copy on it. Okay. If you want to take it back to change and redesign it, it's very easy. You just click it and you can change it. Okay. Let's say now I'm using. Um, I want to design something for my Instagram post. Okay, let's say uh, I'm thinking that I want to design. I want to design uh, something for for sale. Okay, so I just click search here. It will be easier. So I want to sell. Let's say I want to sell something about sale. Okay, sell something. Okay, I want to tell people I want to sell something. So there are many templates for you to try try out. Okay, it's uh, quite easy. And then if you are not happy with the template, just X the just click and go back and try. Okay, so there are many templates depends on, for example, let's say, okay, um, I pretend that I'm trying to sell vegetable. Okay, let's say. Okay, this um, but okay, then you can see there are a few. Okay, and let's say I'm interested to start to to tell people, okay, my company is uh, selling vegetables, so maybe I take this. Okay, maybe this is something that I want to, to, to use. Then the next thing is I can change the wording, okay, the word. So just click the words in the template, then you can change the word. Okay, there are many, so many types of words, so I'm not happy with this, then I will use this. Okay, then it will change. You can see I, I click the left hand side. There are many fonts for me to choose, but you will notice a symbol like this. A cron symbol, what's it mean? It means this is only for professional. So if you want to do this, you have to pay for it. Okay, you have to pay for it. So if you are not willing to use this, 
uh, you're not willing to pay, then don't use this. This will not come in, come out. Okay, so still you have plenty choices. Let's say this one. Okay, let's say if I use this, what happens? Uh, if I use uh, this, what happens? Yeah. So you can try out, and then as usual or commonly, what we do with our words is we can change the size. So we can use this to change the size of the words. Okay, boleh tukar lah. Okay, nampak tu. Then this is the easy one. Okay, let's say. Doctor, sorry, your screen uh frozen. Frozen. Okay, let me see ya. Jump. Is it okay now? Boleh kan? Or I re, adanya? I stop pre presenting. I present again lah. Sebab Maybe because this is another website. Saya guna website lain kan. Jadi besar kemungkinan itu masalah dia lah tu. I share balik dulu. Okay, can see? Boleh? Boleh nampak? Boleh. Okay, good. Okay. Um, seterusnya. So this is the wording. Okay. Very easy and I find it is user friendly. And then the next thing is, let's say if you have so many things you want to change at the same time, so you just click one, then you press shift. Okay, the person or or you don't just press shift, you can um, group it together. Control pun boleh. Control and click it, and then you can ungroup it and group it. Okay, ungroup maksudnya ungroup means that they already um, sometimes some template they have few different groups a uh, few different terms uh this font they group it together so when you move it you can move it together because it's grouped together okay but actually they are different fonts so you have to ungroup it then only then only you can change or take it out let's say i ungroup it then ungroup it then i can take it out and take part of this i think i still have a group and group it okay maybe this this is the one they already group it okay so if i want to group it just group it together then it will become one okay normally ungroup and group you do it if yourself okay you do it yourself if you use template they already set for you so it's not easy for you to change the one good thing with template is you have every you have the photo already. If you doesn't like the photo, of course you just delete it. Okay, you can just delete it, or you just start with a blank one. Okay, a kosong, and then dengan kosong you start to add things. So what sometimes what I did is I start with a blank one. Katakanlah, I'm not that happy with this photo. I just click delete in my computer. Right, tekan delete saja. Then after you delete, then you start to let's say I want to put a vegetable photo. Okay, uh, I can upload my media. This sebelah kiri also left hand side. I can upload my media, and then um, I can upload from my device. Let's say I have my device. I have my picture. Okay. All right, so let's say I want something that is beautiful. Let's say, uh, since this is about veggie, maybe tomato first. Okay, I put a tomato here. So I can just bring the tomato here as a picture. Okay, and then, okay, let's say after this, you find that your pictures, your pictures cover the, the words. So send it to the back, send backward. And that will send to the back. Then the words will come in. Okay, this is um, very easy, and I feel that it's very user friendly. Okay, and of course, if you are not happy with that, please play around with this. This one, I think you are even better than me. Uh, effect, or this is something that I try out a lot of time. Okay, see which one is the most. Suitable for this picture. Let's say I'm using this one festive. Okay, summer. And then I click how. Right. So you try out a filter effect. 
I believe this is so easy for you, right? And then you can adjust it if you want to have clearer or clearer pictures and adjust everything, brightness here. Mm -hmm. So every time, remember, you have to click this and the thing will come up. If you click the picture, this uh, headings will come up. If you click the words and this heading will come up themselves. So you, uh, it depends. If you don't click it, then nothing will come up. If nothing, you don't click anything, then nothing will come up. Okay, I click the picture, then I can crop. I can crop the picture, make it smaller. And I don't want that big. Done. So I crop the picture. Maybe that is um, something I'm doing. Okay. So this one. Or flip it, flip, you know what, you, you flip it horizontally or vertically. So, one thing good with this Canva is you can um, you can share it easily, but, but I do not like to share it directly. I prefer to download first. Okay, I prefer to download first. And one question people might ask, uh, where is the save icon? Uh, this is auto-saving. This is auto saving, so you have to save it. Uh, you don't have to worry about save it yourself. They will save it for you. Huh? So this is auto. And then another thing is, beside you upload the photos, you can get a lot of photos here. Okay. So let's say I, if I'm not happy with this one, I just add some photo here. Yeah, let's say. Yeah, maybe I can add some more photo here or instead of adding photo, I delete first. Maybe, um, yeah, lots of photo here. And then same thing, there are free and pro version photo. So if you see the word free here on the left hand side, when you put your icon, your, your cursor there, okay, nampak cursor tu, free, maksudnya boleh guna, tiada masalah. If you choose something that is not free, katakan not free, eh? um, katakan, let's say this is um, lots of free photo here. Let's say I need something, oh, oh free, eh? most photo here are free. Okay, so if it's not free, you can see the, some, the words there, let's say. Yeah, let's see uh, if I choose something about um, normally some elements, especially elements. Okay, let's say I don't like, like this, I delete it, delete it, I put some element here, then you can see. Okay, something uh, I click element already. So you have element, some they are free. And some are not free. Okay, so let's say let me choose one that is not free. Let's say if I click all, normally they will give you uh, if you are free version, they will show you the free icon first before they show you something that is not free, professional icon. So, not difficult, okay, you can see, the good thing with Canva that why I'm using is, you can have lots of icon, okay, you can have lots of things that you can put down here, let's say, I like these pictures, so I use this icon, okay, or lemon. you can have lemon. You can see there are lots of free, okay, on my left hand side, there are lots of free, then I can easily pick and choose which one is suitable, okay, suitable with my account, then it's very easy, if you don't like it, just click it and delete, and it's auto-saving, good, another good thing is auto-saving, so you have plenty of choices, of course, this is if I'm using a simple pause, okay, and um, you you can see go down and click there are many more okay you can have icons or uh you also can get from your facebook or other 
other place. Okay, you can also get the the the, the things elements or the pictures from your Facebook or other thing, provided you connect it. Okay, if you don't want to connect it, just use whatever they have. This is already very good. Okay, very good. Let's say if I'm not happy with this, I don't want to do this anymore, then it's okay. I can go back to home and I start to design another new one. Okay, let's say now, instead of doing that, now I want to do something that is animated. Okay, something that you move itself. Maybe can I add music? Let's say. Let's see. Um, there are lots of things still. I'm free. If you don't mind, sometimes you can choose those professional. If you really like this, but uh, you can see some printing words there. Okay. So again, there are lots of things. Let's say you want to do um. A promotion okay let's say first item is free let's say I want to do promotion okay so instead of your first item is free then I say 10% um, discount okay or 20% discount for first item I don't want the words too small Your first item get 20% discount. Alright, so let's say this is not suitable with me, so just delete. Delete the, the thing. Delete the words. Okay, and then you can always try to see uh, edit the timing. Okay, because this is animated, so you can edit the timing actually. Oh, okay, the top up. Yeah. You have to edit the timing here. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. You can try. There are many. They give like something like uh, similar to uh, what we see. Uh, something the words will come themselves. So there are choices like this. Let's say I'm choosing this. Then you can see. There are different way of animation that you can choose from. So this is quite similar to PowerPoint if you are used to PowerPoint animation. Okay. And then, um, then you can see this is something that's not free. So if you click something that is not free, then this will come out. Okay. So if you want to try it for free, then for 30 days. Only is free. Okay, after the 30 days you have to pay. So if I don't want to subscribe, then it's fine. Okay. So if you can see that the sim the simple is that they will he will inform you about this. So there are audio for you, and okay? there are some for you which you can choose from. If you want to add audio. Uh, this is the video game effect. Huh? You can see that. How about this one? Okay, this that one is okay. Huh? Yeah. Okay. So if you don't like it, then how about this one? Throw. Okay. Because um, this is um, depends on whether you want to put audio or not. If you don't want, then you do not need to put audio. Okay. Anyway, same thing that I like with this camera is there are choices of different audio. Although many of the most of the audio you can see uh, is uh, actually you, is for a uh, promo uh, professional. Okay, you have uh, instruments. Let's see, there are few choices. There are choices, but although not all free, but still you can find some different choices which you can use for either your presentation, 
you can use for your when you are doing this or that uh, or, or designing for your Instagram story or what okay so let me show you what I have designed huh? for example I also use this to design this is what I designed let's say I'm thinking of let's say like example only I do it this for example so I do this for example like I want to do a post in uh, Facebook or this this particular thing also I can this is what we call I call soft um, soft promotion okay soft promotion so what what to mean by soft is let's say I want to sell vegetable but I don't tell my customers about vegetable I tell them about food that is linked to the thing that I want to sell so this is the soft promotion okay soft writing okay soft writing so I have thumb terms and I add this and this and then I can post in my Facebook in my Instagram and in my maybe in my WhatsApp okay so for those who are doing um your project we expect you to come up with at least few okay a few at least one soft promotion another one's hard promotion so what to mean i mean by hard promotion let me see here yeah? i have sample here do it for for example this one the hard promotion this, this is what i call a hard promotion Okay. Um, hello, doctor. I think this screen freeze again. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Let me know. Uh. So about, uh, let me try again. Uh. So about when I create, maybe, maybe the... Okay, I'm using entire screen. Okay. Yes. Um, so I'm can see? Okay. This is hard writing. Okay, hard promotion. When I say hard promotion, it means that when I do the promotion. Okay, I will tell people about something that I want to promote the product and I have something that invite them to to do to, to do some action. Okay, for example, I say organic veggie for sale now. Okay, this is example on here. So I give them the contact number. So it means that when they see this, this is for promote uh, for sales, then uh, the contact number, then they can contact me. This is hard promotion. Let me go back to just now the soft promotion huh? the soft promotion is something like this okay soft promotion okay so if you look at soft promotion for promotion is let's say i'm selling veggie but in my this promotion i'm not telling about veggie but i'm telling about good food okay and then I ask them for a question. Ask them a question. Do you agree? Okay. I say it's important to take care of your health with good food. Do you agree? Okay. So ini satu cara promosi. So what you have to do is for your project, you at least have uh, some soft promotion and hard promotion. Huh? Hard copywriting and soft writing. This is what you call content creation. We create the content for the promotion. Okay, create the content for the promotion. So, uh, I have one more. I'm not saying yet, Veggie House. Oh, it's the same thing. Huh? Okay, let me. Okay, so uh, this is the little bit sharing that I can share with you. If you want to do banner, Banner that is a very big banner, this is not suitable. Okay, you better use Photoshop or other method. Okay, but if you want to do a calendar, let's say, yeah, I design calendar like this. You can design the calendar. Okay, you design the poster. 
this is the the poster that I designed for my project. Okay, I designed for my project. This is uh, for my Pareka project. Okay, so I designed this using my study. Then this is something that I use to design the project. So uh, not difficult and not difficult to design. Um, anyone have any questions? Want to ask? Do you have questions? If no questions, then we go to see another website. Okay, uh, this is Wix. Wix, huh? Website is good to build up uh, uh, Wix.com. W I X C O M. Wix.com is good to design a website. Mm -hmm. It's free also. W I X.com. Wix.com. So, no, of course, the first thing you have to do is you have to sign in. Okay, so I think I don't have to tell you how to sign up. Huh? Remember, when you sign up, also look for the free one, okay, the, the free version. Let's say I'm logged in. Okay, let me um, just example. Huh? Let's say I'm using um, a new account. Okay. So you if this will happen, okay? You can just skip this. If you don't want them to to uh, um, ask you the questions, just skip it on the right, right hand side, right bottom corner. Okay. So what do you do? Which one? Okay. You can choose one that is uh, totally empty and you start to do it yourself, everything by yourself, or you just choose a template. Okay. You can choose a template. So after you choose a template, you click here, choose a template. Then there are many choices for you. Okay, many choices of template for you. You can see here many choices of template. Okay, and then for example, if you are doing business, there are many choices of business that might be suitable for you. So you can choose either one. Okay, pilih salah satu lah. For example, you want to, for example, for your project, you are doing online store, food and drink. Any online store. Okay, this is online store. Just view it first. For example, I want, what is this? This is, uh, to see, oh, what happened uh, if I'm using this? Okay, if you choose online store, then you can see they have um, designed some, uh, some icon. Okay, then, Customers can directly buy it from you. Okay, so all the most of the template is the same thing. Okay, they have this. Then after you, you can see actually customer can directly buy in from the the using the web page. Okay, and of, of course if they want to directly buy using the web page, it means that you really need to spend lots of time to manage your web page. If you don't like this, then you can choose from business instead of online store. Okay, this is you can see uh, this is all online store where they can buy it directly using the website. Okay. Um let's say if I don't want to buy it buy direct, instead I'm looking for um maybe um food and drink again. Okay, you can see what's the difference. Okay, so let's be with. Okay, then you can see that 
they do not have the icon for direct purchase. Okay, the same. View full demo. Full demo. This is full. See ya. Okay. Forever. So this is not. You can see they do not have direct purchase. The good thing with um, this template is they already have few different page for you. Okay, you can see that they have ex they have example of uh, choices. You can see the product with price, but but you can see that no icon or nothing for them to click to buy the product. Okay, of course, then you can add one page that is order online if you want. Okay, order online. This is one you can get or an event or anything. All right, let's go back to just now. Let's say I'm not happy with this, just close it. Choose another one. How about um, what is this? This is ice cream. This this is a uh, cooked food. Okay, just now the group they are doing um something about frozen food. Let's see. Maybe this is suitable. Okay, kumulang katinga, makanan. If you are doing food, maybe this is suitable. Cooked food, uh, green tomato food delivery. So you can design your logo. Okay, design your logo. Design this uh what we call the cover. The cover in the camera first after you design then you can bring it here and okay? bring it there in the camera remember i keep on saying you have to uh, it's better for you to download the the design first okay? every time after you complete the design you download first before you share in instagram or facebook it will be easier and then you when you download you use uh, either png or jpeg Okay, depends on which one you like. But PNG, if you download in uh, in the camera, PNG will be better quality. Okay, so fresh go your door. So this is the with menu. If you have that menu, what are the products you are selling? You can see if all right. So let's say if I like this page. Okay, I want to do some change. Uh, I want to use this page as the template to prepare my own page. Then I click edit on the right hand, right top corner there. Okay, you can see the word edit here. So you can click edit here. If you have questions, you can ask. Huh? I'm too quiet. Huh? Because actually, I should give you the, the like, uh, hands-on training. But we can't do it now, hands-on. So I just give you a little bit of explanation of how to do it. Okay. You can see this will take some time. Okay. It's quite common. Okay. Um, I'm not so sure with uh, other people internet. With my internet, this is common you might have to wait up to one to two minutes okay? waiting patiently for that because maybe because they need to do this huh? let me see is it because all right remember after you sign in actually you have to go to your email and to confirm your registration okay okay you see okay it's already ready here. So one video for you, okay, uh, to to explain to you how to do the editing, okay, mix editing, especially for who are new here, you never do this, okay, then you you better watch this to help you to understand better. So instead of uh, watching this, let's go to the page. Okay, you can see that this is the page. Just now, uh, the same page. So, first thing first, remember uh, from top to bottom, uh, easier. 
Okay, so the first thing is you can see they are heading here. Okay, so if you want to change your setting, this is the part you can change your setting. Okay, you can upgrade. If you upgrade, it means that you have to pay yeah, to, uh, to get a free domain. Okay, with no apps. If you don't upgrade, you use a free one. Okay, then it means that you have to expect some advertisement maybe in your page. Okay, so, alright. So, this is the site. Okay, and for Wix.com, the good thing is you can design more than one web page at one time. Let's say you design one web page for your company, you design another web page for another friend, it's fine. You can design more than one web page. You can even copy your web page to another web page and do the changes. Let's say you already have this one web page, this page, the website, then you, you think you need to do changes, you want to improve it, so what happens is you can edit it, you can copy it to another site, you edit it while you keep the original one for people to see. After you complete editing the new page, then you show people the new page and you delete, you can delete or you just keep the old page. Okay, so you is um is quite uh, user friendly here. And there are two choices for you when you do editing. You can either edit the page for the desktop here, desktop, okay, or the mobile for the use of handphone. So if I click mobile, it looks like this. Huh? I click mobile, yeah, it looks like this. That's the page. It means that when you edit, using the desktop version, then after that, you have to go to check the mobile version. You can edit either one first. After that, you check whether the setting is okay or not. If the setting is not okay, then go to change again. So um, I prefer to do with desktop, okay, desktop, because uh, it's easier, bigger words, bigger size for me to change. So next thing is, you can see, on the left hand side here, the page with home. Home, that means your home page. So how the page given by or uh, in this tablet is, I um, need to manage my page. Even ready in this tablet is home page, what's cooking, menu, okay, about contact. Okay, so this, this page is not currently not uh, showing to the customers. Huh? This page, so I'm, I'm at my home page first. You can decide not to show to the customer this certain page, and you can decide to let's say I want to hide my menu first, I just hide it. Okay, so these are the pages, and it's free for you to add. Just click add button here, icon here, and icon here to edge page. So, edge. Okay, add page here. Let's say, so I add my page. Let's say, I say, uh, the word is about us. Okay, about this company, about us. Oh, you yeah, have page. Then I can move it here. Okay, home page, about the company, about us. And what's cooking? And maybe I don't have my menu and my, my food. Uh, then, oh, this one I have about here, but differently. Okay, so it's up to you one whether you want that page or you just want to delete that page. Let's say I just I want to duplicate or hide or even do a sub page of it. It's up to you. You even have online ordering if you don't want. It's, uh, it's free actually, you can delete it. Okay? You can delete the page anytime. So this is about page. So start with, let's say, if I want to start with home page, let's go up again. Home page. Okay, so this is not changeable because 
uh, if you change the patient, then it will change itself. Okay, so it will change itself. You don't need to change it. You can see that. I only can move it around. I move it somewhere, but I cannot change the words because this is related to your home page. Okay, it's to your page. So if you change here, you change your page here, then only this will change. And another very important thing is when you do a design, you remember to come up with your own logo design. Okay, logo. Let's say I have my logo design already. Example only, yeah? not real one. Uh, I have my image, which I design using Canva. A very simple one. Um, upload media. My computer, I'm not on my computer. Um, ah, this one logo. Let's say this is I have two logos here. Let's say this is the logo. Then add to the page. This is my logo. Check us out. Oops. Okay. Oops. Oh, I am changing the wrong thing. Oh, yeah. Ah, you need to go for that. It's my logo. Let's say my company is example one. Uh, um, with G House. This is the my logo and my company name. So you can see all the lines here. Actually, when you move it, all the lines will help you to make sure it's in the center. Okay, it's uh, a horizontally with same thing. Okay, another important thing is. Um, you have to change your social bar. Okay, last semester I checked many groups, they never do this, okay? or they, they just didn't notice. Huh? So, when your social bar is like your Facebook account, your Instagram, and your Twitter account, okay, all this you have to add here, you have to change here. So, all the website, if you use Wix, other, other website, I'm not so sure, Wix. When you click, you see something in the website, then you click, you set the social link. Okay, so let's say I don't have this uh, Twitter, I have Inst and I have Facebook. Then I can't remember my Facebook name. I think it's, uh, let's say, uh, I think this is my name. I create a, a also Facebook page. Okay, this patient. Let's see what I All right, let's say. So, you can see I delete the Twitter account. Icon will disappear itself. Same thing. After that, I have to make sure I have to change my Instagram account also. Let's say, just example there. Yes, sir. I'm not so sure with the name of it, but yes, right. So that's simple. Okay, very easy. Just change the setting. Okay, go to set social links, and then when you click, go here, come here, click here. What social page does this icon link to? Just go here, then uh, click the link, and then. It means that later on, when uh, people um, when people look at your page, they can click directly. That is why I say, for your project, I expect you have at least one social media account, so you can do this. Okay, for the other one, if you don't want the button, you can just delete the button. Okay, I think we have to delete. I think you have just delete it using your. Uh, just delete it using your, your keyboard, okay? Just delete it. 
But one thing with Wix is you have to really save it. Okay, if you don't save, it will disappear. So when you save it, you can see, uh, look, click the save icon. When you save it, this is the name I use to get uh, my name of my email, right? But at the same time, actually, you can change your name, okay? So when you set up a, a project, when you want to do a project, remember you have to register a new email. It will be easier because you use that new email huh, to do this, okay? So I put the name like this, Reggie House. So always use your company name to register your domain. It will be easier. Save and continue. So only the first time you need to choose the domain name. But actually, you can edit it anytime. Uh, your site is set. Okay, you can just done it. Okay, you can... Um, okay, now the next step is, after I go to the setting the page, my icon, the social bar, then the next thing is I want to change. Let's say, do add uh, uh, organic. Vegetable. Say okay. for sale. So click it and you can change it. And then you can change it to following this uh, different size of words. This is the easy one. If you don't like the different theme, and it's fine that you change the terms yourself, uh, the font size yourself, and the font yourself. Okay, it's fine for you to change. Yeah, let's see. Oh, I have to. Yeah, I have to highlight it first. Yes, I have to highlight. So let's see. Organic vegetables. Let's say this is the thing that, like, if um, always remember you have this. Um, if you use their template, you always have this icon. If I don't like that, I can like put it somewhere here. If I don't want to put it there, maybe I can put it here. Change the button. So if you don't have the button, you can add the button somewhere here. Yes, you can add the button here. Okay, the uh, the purpose of adding button is when it's like icon. Okay, I, I believe you know that it's an icon. So when you click the button, then it link to some page or something. So you can have button like pay now if you are doing online sales, or you have button for email. Okay, just add here. If you want, yeah, somewhere here. If you just want to add the icon for say email, so you can change the link. Yes, you click once, then you change the link. Okay, you set up the let's say this is uh, email. So I type my email here, okay? So done. It means that one customer, one, if they wanted to contact you, they click this, they will immediately see the, the, the email address. Huh? So this is, just now I click double. So if I don't like this, I delete the one. And I add my own design. Okay. So upload my own design first. From upload media from my computer. Upload from my computer. Let's say this is the one. I design earlier. Okay. For for just take it for example. Add to this page. So I have this one. can see 
Uh, actually, if you reduce the, if you add more things to the first page, uh, the size will change itself. Okay, I mean the the height. So if I add more things, then this they will go down itself. Okay, the more I add, the longer it will be. So it will go down itself. If I delete all these things. For example, I, if I don't want this, this is not relevant with my with my products that I want to sell. I just delete everything that it will the the bottom one will immediately go up. Okay, things like this will immediately go up. So after you edit the page, then remember you have to go down to check a few very important things. First thing is uh, your of course if you have logo, change here, change here. And then the service, remember that. The time, okay, if this one you don't want this, or you want to get subscriber, you can keep this. And the contact number of the company, very, very important. Contact number, uh, you can put it like WhatsApp. Get the text, let's say, uh, um, um, let's say, uh, instead of the give email, I put WhatsApp. WM.EM. EM. Let me check. ME. WM.ME. Yes, ME. ME stroke my contact number. So, okay, correct. All right. So, if he click this number, he will directly email me. Okay. So, instead of I give him the phone number, I request him to WhatsApp me. Okay, WhatsApp me, and uh, this is more like a uh, message me. Okay, and the email, so the address, this is important, okay? So the first page must be very uh, clear with what product you are selling, okay? With your logo, with your, uh, your banner or what you call it can be banner or or what uh, cover, we can also call it cover, okay, to, to show that, to show your products. Also, you can have some pictures of your products on the first page, okay. Then, if you are happy with this, then you go to the design of the second page. Now, I want to go to the second page, let's say. All right, so this is the page that I add in. So you can see that the thing on the top and the thing at the bottom yeah, remain the same. Okay, you don't need to worry about this. The only thing that I have to add in maybe is, for example, I start to add in things like uh, text on heading. Heading, I want to talk about about us. Okay, so add another the paragraph. So you explain a little, little bit about the company. Okay, just some tips. So let me see. Our company. Our company is set up in twenty one by okay, I mean okay, to, to, to do what what's the purpose? Okay, then I will say the objective of this company is okay, the objective of this company is and then who is the who is the manager? 
Okay, who is the third people inside the company? So I need one page on this. Especially, you have one few sentences about your objectives, and you talk about who are the people in the company. So this is based on your presentation. Huh? Your presentation this week, you already present. Okay, who is the managers? So just copy and paste your presentation, your organizational chart from your presentation here. Only. You don't need to have a very long explanation. A simple one will do. You don't need long one. Okay. So then after that, maybe for your menu, or you can change it to other words like my products. And I start to write what are the products I want to sell, for example. Of course. Uh, if you use the template, if you use a template that is very selling the product that is similar to your product, it's quite easy for you to change. If you like me, I'm taking this like uh, for example, this is like restaurant to my product, then a lot of changes expected, but still much easier. So actually, if I complete, then I save and preview it. So let's say, yeah. Uh, I preview it, uh, I save, every time you save, you will see something like this, and I preview it, and you can see this is something that I can preview. You can see um, about us, oh yeah, I forgot to let people see my home page, okay? So I only have four, four here. So back to editor, I forgot to open my home page for you. So I have to manage my home page. Yeah. So yeah, it's not can't view it. I have to show it. And yeah, this one is my home page. Right? So preview it again. And you can see that uh, start with my home page already. This is just a simple sharing to show you. Uh, how to do the um, to create website using Wix? Okay, I know some of you are very good, so I am not worried. But there are some of you maybe you you want to know more. Then that's why I explain here. Okay, after you complete, then don't forget. After you preview it, always remember you have to preview both the test desktop and handphone mode first before you publish it. So if, let's say I want to publish, so I click publish, then you can see something. Congratulations, your site is published and live. Okay, do you want to done? Okay, no. Okay, let's say, let's say I already published. Okay, people can see my slide, but some, I, I noticed some problems with my page, then I can always come back to this site and click back to editor. Okay, back to editor, then I always can come back to change my page anytime. This is the good thing with Wix. Okay, you, you can keep changing forever until you are happy, even after you publish. Even after you publish, you can also, some after some time, you don't want this page anymore, you can delete it. Okay, delete it. So you don't need to keep this. All right. Okay, let's go, uh, any, let's see, anybody have any questions in my chat? No questions? Anyone want to ask questions? So far, clear. Okay. All right. So, I'm just taking a little bit of time to do this training and I hope it is beneficial. Harap-harap boleh membantu semua lah. Sebab website ini saya minta mesti buat. Okay, so you start buat, you start to do your website first. Because anda perlu hantar laporan akhir in a website format. So we expect you to do a lot of editing in the website. So it's better for you to do a little bit by little bit. And this is, which is one of the thing that you can use. And another, another website that is free, Yalah, Google site. Google site, I'm not that familiar. Okay, saya pun mesti belajar lagi ya. I'm not familiar. So, I'm still learning. So, uh, if got time next time, I will share about that lah. 
Okay, so any more questions? Fast, kalau tiada soalan kita berhenti di sini. If no questions, we will stop here. All right. So any any question? Yeah, we wait for few minutes to see. Okay. Okay. If no questions, then I say thank you to all of you for. Uh, staying with me for more than one hour, okay, for that sharing thing, okay. I hope this will really help you, especially to design for your poster, for your banner, or for your cover of your Facebook or Instagram or anything, okay. Okay, thank you very much. Terima kasih ya. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, doctor. Thank you, thank you, doctor. Yeah, welcome, ah. Huh? All right, so if you really need help on the designing or anything, you let me know. Saya akan cuba membantu lah. Nanti saya akan, I will share one, uh, one uh, simple PDF about how to to create the website using Wix. I will share in the WhatsApp group. Huh? Nanti, uh, yeah, I better share in the classroom lah because it's a big full file. Okay, how to create website. Thank you, doctor. I hope that. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh. Terima kasih. We will stop here. Thank you.